All right, let's do this. Final battle. Completely out of money. Can't buy or anything else. Everything sells for zero. Ash three. She did not roll very good items. But hang on. Porcelain set might actually do something. Porcelain set on a three star Annie actually does a lot. Come on, set. Hang in there. Dang it. Hi, trying to learn and wondering what was more valuable. Was it ever Cell Kindred for her TG since it was Deathblade GA? Yeah, I pointed out right after the fight was over that TGs always retain their items no matter what. Uh, the problem with selling Kindred there is that you lose seven faded and you don't get any money, so you can't roll for a replacement Kindred. That's why I didn't want to do it. But remembering that the TG keeps the items, yes, the Deathblade was better. Box, box, I think you sometimes mistake people genuinely asking why for backseating. I guarantee you the, the comments I'm looking at are nothing other than annoying, aggressive backseating. If you ask a genuine question, I will happily give you a genuine answer. And it's very clear when people are asking a question because they don't understand why, compared to they want to aggressively assert their opinion. I promise you it's pretty obvious. Yeah, I am. I go where the trouble is. Yeah, I should have kept the Riven. Keep the Story Weaver door open. I kept this guy. I was like, what if I play Bard? But what am I going to do? Hit exactly a Bard right now. Wait, again? Oh my god. Alright. When life gives you sour... Okay, what's the strongest board I can play? I wish I could sell this guy for three gold. Mythic. Two porcelain players. Okay, this time I'm uncontested. Okay. The game plan is clear. Go eight and play everything. Take back what's out. Come, let me show you darkness. Oblivion, come. Oh, Radiant Blessing. That's actually huge. Welcome back from the ad break, everybody. That's actually huge, because I will most likely be losing. Okay, I need to remember I need to remember, uh, when somebody gets low for the first time, to take a look at what they're doing. Uh, okay, definitely look at Story Weavers. Yes. This world needs hope. One fortune player. Oh, he got it from a, from a spat, or from the, uh, the dummy. That's a really high roll, because then he can still hit fortune crust and go seven fortune. Okay, I mean, we know our game plan. We're going to go level eight with as much money as possible and then just slow roll, count the legendaries meticulously, or count the forecast and then figure out, oh, figure out what's playable. What is the best item I can here to save? No, I, I just realized I don't want to win. 
Oh no, now if there's something crazy, I can't get it. Is there any double spats? Okay, no double spats. Uh, probably just Story Weaver. Okay, I think Teemo 2, or Teemo Pair, and then Story Weaver spat, and then Shojin. Come on, give me a T. Dang it. Uh, here's a ribbon. Here's Story Weaver spat. Here's Trojan. Okay, well, I mean, the bright side is our direction's very obvious from here. I know exactly how to play this. Why red kill? I just default to it. There, there are openings for blue kill, but I don't know what they are, so I'm just gonna keep it simple. I don't think Red Kill is ever bad. It just might be sometimes weaker than others, but like that's fine. If I'm playing Bard, I go green. Actually, surprisingly enough, on Bard, uh, on Bard, the green one is surprisingly worse. You thought better. I'm, I'm calling it now. Teemo in shop. I will not falter. I go where the trouble is. Travel awaits. But yeah, surprisingly, in the Bard build, you're actually supposed to go Red Kill, because jump starting your Bard is more important. What are you drinking? It's a jasmine tea with a small amount of fake sugar. All right, I don't I don't know what it's called, but it's like the sugar that's not actually sugar. It's like diet sugar. It's a, it's not very good. I just like to sip on something cold when I play. Oh yeah, it's called Steven. Okay, I have a fortune angle. Oh, why did I sell Atrex Pair? I should have sold Sivers. Who am I missing? Zyra, Zoe. Did that orb only get two gold? Sometimes they just give two gold, but from my understanding, everybody gets two gold when that happens. From my understanding. There's two fortune players. You probably don't play fortune here. I also don't really need fortune, right? Like either I hit the three-star forecast and win, or I don't and I lose. There's not really any in between. If a Chibi Ribbon Legend comes out, do you think you'll instinctually use it as your main one? No, I I don't. Okay, I don't know how else to say this, but I like I don't really like Ribbon, like as a person. She's kind of an asshole. Like she's kind of like too edgy five me. Like I I, I would not want to be around her. If I had to like be around a League of Legends champion, it would probably be Galio. I need Econ. Econ. Oh, I think I'm down for slamming. That's like kinda Econ. Yeah, it's it's like indirectly Econ. Take that. Uh Let me show you darkness. Holy shit, this Teemo is getting like 69 with attack speed. He's got a kill, a Sivir, and a Sivir, like, all surrounding him, giving him all the attack speed he wants. I'm down to roll once for a Teemo or a Story Reaver. Uh, does this count if I do this after the round starts? Oh, wow, it does. Last game was indeed a good game. Sorry for being annoying. It's okay. The nice thing about these internet arguments is that after like 12 minutes, I'm gonna forget everything. 
That might be because of like, wait, I have three items on my kale. I'm cheating. Wait, I'm cheating. Oh my God. How do I have three items? I think it's because I slammed the spat mid round. Okay, okay, it went away. I am not a cheater. Wait, it's actually very nice that there are two people who are playing Fortune. It saves me a lot of HP. All right, what do I want here? Uh, anything to play off of a, a cloak? Tier chain, maybe spark. Tier chain rod. Uh, I think I want the spark. I think I want a tier. Okay, let's take a look. If the radiant cash out is uh, a duplicator, it's huge. Duplicator or gold? Let's watch this guy. What do you get? Pause champ. Open the orb. Duplicator, spat, two components. Noted. Duplicator, spat, two components. Noted. Duplicator, spat, two components. I'm gonna forget. I just say it out loud to myself 12 times, otherwise I actually will not remember this. But the duplicator is huge for me. Dude, I cannot get over like how lucky this Teemo is. He's like literally drowning in, like it's like drowning in pussy, but like drowning in attack speed buffs. Like my guy is reaching like 2.5 attack speed without any help. Well, sorry, without like a Gwinsu's. Yeah, it should have been me. What do they see in her? Oh, there's actually a really good event for me. Both of these are useful. Burdens of the past. Boop. And boop. Wait, which Sivir is getting more attack speed? Uh, hmm. Okay, is it just me? Or is this augment kind of stupid? Okay, those are Lux. If I move my Deathblade Sivir over here, we can evade a Lux. If I happen to face a Lux player, who's right here... Ah, oh, didn't matter. Wait, it's Spirelia! What the hell? It's Spirelia! I just got rolled. You know what's really stupid? Uh, a viewer pointed out to me that Slimon, it says that it only works on PvP rounds. Yeah, it says it only works on PvP rounds. Blessing. But they lied! It does work on creep rounds. But it's really stupid. So now an optimization is to just stand here in the corner and do nothing. Because look, I'm at 12 EXP right now, and it's gonna go to 16 if I just stand here and do nothing. It's one of those things where like, if you don't know, you're just falling behind against all the other players who do know. It's like, look, it's gonna go to, to 16, not 14. Didn't they fix it? Well, I mean, look at this, 12 and 16. It's not fixed. I'm gonna sack one for more money and then I'll start the slow roll. Okay, so next round, it begins. So, sell, sell the nun. Yeah, sell the non-important units. Would you take level up in this spot? As far as I know, you cannot be offered level up. Uh, besides on 2-1. They changed it so that it's like upfront EXP, so that you can't just like full int, and then um, yeah, they, yeah, it's different. Uh, I think harm resistance is fine here. All right, let's do it. Okay, let the slow rolling begin. Just buy every single four cost, and that's basically it. Some call me evil. Shall I prove them right? 
Uh, I need a Galio. The last time I ate a plant was never. No prison can hold me. Okay, now it's time to think about which units I'm actually going to play. Uh, probably not Kaisa. It has to be units that like... Okay, so there's only 10 of each 4 cost in the pool, right? So, unless you're playing like a 2-star Orin just because it's 2-star Orin, you need to play units that are, for the most part, going to be uncontested. So, like, Kaisa is definitely going to be contested, so I'm not even going to think about her. Oh, fuck. I forgot to slam. Oh, fuck. Okay, that's my bad. I forgot to slam. If I slam this, does it work? Probably not. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't work. That was my bad. Uh, I'll just slam on server for now. Oh, bye server. The power of a dragon. Okay, which unit is not happening? I'm gonna take a scout. All right, I already saw one guy with Syndra. Okay, Syndra's not happening. No prison can hold me. Okay, Lily could happen. Uh, who else is not happening from this spot? Kane is not happening. Can Galio happen? Don't give up on the Leeson. Okay, so I need to scout, do like an inventory of like, because if there are, if there's even one out, it's basically not possible. There are 10 of each legendary in the pool. It is true that I'll have a duplicator. So like you can kind of get around it, but if there's even one out of the pool, it's very hard. Let's focus on the completely uncontested ones like Lilia, Nautilus. Let's take a look. So Kane, Syndra, Orn. Okay, Kane, Syndra, Orn, Ash. Wait, another dupe? Wait a second. <laughs> Wait, I need to roll like right now. Okay, so let me call this out. Kane, Syndra, Kane, Orn, Kaisa, Ash, Syndra. Okay. I have an idea of what- Kane's not possible. Kaisa is surprisingly possible. All right, I'm gonna give one Kane. Let's move. I've got people to inspire. Orn and Morgana are both possible. Was never. The last time I ate a plant was never. Art is empty ah. without empathy. I'm having trouble keeping track, but I mean, I should just mark the ones that are available, right? Annie is doable, Galio is doable, Morgano is, but I already skipped her. Lilia is looking good, Orn's looking good, Nautilus, Silas. And I think Lee Sin is maybe doable, but I sold him already. This Hui, I, I should play the Hui. Uh, well, fuck. No, you can't play the Hui because I'll, I'll be dead by the time I. By, four, by the time four turns passes. Okay, I'm gonna just like lose slam in value. Time to take what's on. I'm coming for you. No prison can hold me. Try to keep up. You smell like burning. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, this should hold me over until Hui. Uh, this should hold me over until Hui Prince. Uh, I guess Mythic. I I'm down to just like lose slamming value here. I it's not worth slamming and making a decision too hastily. Oh, actually, you don't even need mythic. Uh, once I put a Nautilus here. What's the best spat? I think it's Storm Weaver. 
Oh yeah, one guy has one Nautilus, but he'll die soon. Uh, it could just be Story Weaver. Oh, almost forgot. Okay, I'm gonna lose Slime Valley for this round, it's fine. Maybe BT would be really good. Maybe Omni Vamp on this Annie 3. Uh, no Omni Vamp available. Well, Gunblade. Oh wait, no, Hodge is better. Yeah, honestly, fuck the spat. I know she has harm assist, but I'm pretty sure if you have a 3 star forecast, you want more Omni Vamp on them so they can go infinity. Would you consider going 9 here? Uh, so 9 doubles your odds of getting... Well, not doubles. It gives you an additional 50% odds of forecast. So if you can go 9... If I if I believe that I'm going to live for like the rest of the game, I should go 9 here. Well, actually, if I want to like go 9 and hit everything, I'm supposed to sit here and look cute. I mean, I, I've got 30 HP. If I was 1 life, I would probably roll it all down to 0 right now. To try to stabilize or make sure like I don't die. But like I wanna believe that this Annie is good enough. Cause your odds of forecast go from 22 to I believe 35, which is a pretty significant increase. As long as you are um like spending a certain amount of money at nine, it's better. Wait, do I lose this? Wait. Oh my god, I lost. Actually, this is exactly the opposite of last time. Remember at last time I was the Aphelios 3, about to beat the Annie? All right, well, I mean, I'm still two lives, but I'm gonna, I'm getting a little scared now. Okay, don't worry about Kane. Kane's not realistic. Uh, don't worry about Hoi, honestly. Time to take what's ours! Let's move. I've got deeper to explore. Look who's blooming now! <laughs> Alright, who's next? What a game. It took me three tries, but I finally got it right. The first time I went like seventh because I couldn't figure it out in time, and we were one off of three different three star forecasts. The second time we played a flex board and got second, and this time we got the full strat. I could have all 10 Lilias. Wait, what happens if I take the Galio? I'm down to see what happens. Is it gonna save the three stacks? What do you think? Is it gonna save the three stacks I can use it for someone else, or is it gonna combine? The best defense is me. Oh. No prison can hold me. It's time for Galio 4. Some call me evil. Shall I prove Get out of right? here, baby Galio. Okay. I can basically take the entire pool. Uh, it looks like Silas is coming up next. What an interesting game. How many 3 star forecasts do you think I can get? I'm gonna guess 5. As long as there's like 1 or 2... Or, as long as there's 1 or less out of the pool, it should be doable. If there's 2 out of the pool, it's doable but hard. Because you have to like get all of them and then have Hoi print like an additional copy. Yeah, roll once. Okay, Art definitely don't roll again. Yeah, control. roll once. This is how dragons it's also good to just like hold a very large majority share of the pool so that uh, there's just like nothing else to hit besides the three stars. All right, what do you have? Syndra, Kane, Kane, Nautilus, 
Ash. Orn. Oh. Three Orns. Three Kaisas. Okay. Hey, how do you have a Galio? Didn't I have all ten Galios? Maybe that was the one that Hui printed was already like past the limit. Wow, I will commend you. You did kill a three star Galio. Okay, well, I mean, I'm down to see what uh, what a little bit of a roll down can get us. I don't think the Orn's actually gonna happen because you have three. Like, he has to die first and then it can hit. Do you wanna go level 10? No, I'd rather just use all the money to roll and buy like every last three cost or four cost. Going 10 lets you like hold three more units. I don't think it's worth it. My odds are good enough here. Be my champ. I will not hold back. Kane's not doable. Kaisa's not doable. Kaisa's not doable. Into the dark. No prison can hold me. Uh, is Morgana doable? No. This is how dragons battle. Wait, maybe she's doable. Wait, no, listen, listen. Oh yeah, Syndra's not doable. Some call me evil. Shall I prove them right? Why are your units free? Uh, it's because my dad is friends with the chairman. So uh, he arranged a special version of TFT for me. Come on, reduce the cost of rerolls. Oh man. Oh, my story of respect. Ah, oh, no, what a throw, Albert. No. From the rubble, true order will be born. What a throw, man. You forgot about Story Weaver's spat. Some call me evil. Shall I prove them right? Wait, do I have the entire pool? I'm only seeing Syndra's, Ashes, and Kane's now. And Kaisa's. I think I have the entire pool. Yeah, basically. I, I think I actually bought every single forecast of everything else. You, I haven't seen like a single other unit. I think I have every single unit besides like the, the ones I didn't go for. Do you want to print Nautilus? Oh, I mean, Lee Sin 3 is right here. And I'm pretty sure there are no Lee Sins left in the pool. Oh, wait, is that a Nautilus 3? If I, oh, that is a Nautilus 3. A flaw in your technique. This is how dragons battle. Wait, no. That counts. That wasting in counts. That wasting in counts. Was that five? It was five. That was five. It was five. But yeah, definitely an augment that probably shouldn't exist. The fact that the game plan is to just hit this is crazy. And it definitely does not seem that hard to hit it. Now that I understand the strat, I feel like I'd have a greater than 50% success rate with this. I think the only reason why this augment doesn't place better is because people haven't learned the strat yet. And like, admittedly, I had to get the augment three times for me to finally figure it out. But like, now that I understand, play strongest board, roll like almost zero unless you really have to, take every econ augment possible, and then go eight and then just slow roll. And then you just have to keep like a very meticulous lock. Every round you need to like scout the entire lobby and count the four costs and figure out like which like four or five of them are, have zero players going for them. And then like 30 gold to level eight is enough to like fill your board up with two star four costs. It's crazy.